Welcome back. As the nation responds to the crisis in Israel, the world's largest naval base is preparing to open its doors to the public. Today, on the Navy's 248th birthday, the Navy has a present for you. Regina Mobley joins us now with more on Fleet Fest 2023. Regina? Well, Lena and Tom, sidelined by the pandemic, Fleet Fest is back in full force. Next weekend, you will see up close how the military prepares for the unexpected. Norfolk-based carrier Ford is on station in the eastern Mediterranean and what the Pentagon is calling a signal of deterrence should any actor hostile to Israel consider trying to take advantage of this situation. The situation in Israel and Gaza is critical as the world's largest naval base is preparing for a Fleet Fest 2023. It does not um, mean that folks aren't thinking and, and obviously uh, praying for um, our um, partners, but we're still here operating. We operate every day, and this is still an opportunity for our civilian counterparts, our community, to come on board and see what their Navy does. For visitors, the first stop, force protection. Folks will come off 564 and they'll come through the main gate and be shepherded in where they'll park and we'll have the, the ships will be there, the displays and all will be up here, so it's up, up towards the north. Fleet Fest comes at a critical time. The service missed its recruitment goal by nearly 8,000 enlisted sailors and officers. I think it's important that we provide access and availability to, to individuals to come on board and just see for themselves, to talk to people, gain their own perspective. We're going to have static displays with various aircraft. Uh, like I indicated, the United States Coast Guard is participating. They're going to have a, a cutter here. We'll have our military working dogs. And, of course, the world's largest bouncy house, which, you know, bring the kids on board. Now, Captain Days is celebrating her eighth month at the helm. But don't be surprised if you see her one day at the gate. Periodically, she pops in to help out with security screening. For more information on Fleet Fest, see this story on wavy.com. Regina Mobley, Tunnel Nearside.